Hi, welcome again to Who's Who in Southern Alberta. Well, this gentleman that we have today, and I'm sure some of you are going to recognize him, I guess uh, what we call Southern Alberta, he's not really from anymore, but a lot of people will remember him because uh, Howard Palmer is sort of a part of the Palmer establishment that's been in Southern Alberta for many, many years. And Howard, you've uh, done exceedingly well in developing uh, new historical perspectives on Alberta and Western Canada that you're going to talk about today, and I want to welcome you back to your old stomping ground. Lethbridge. Well, thank you very much, Bruce. This is where I first got interested in history, and uh, this is where my career in history began. Could I ask you how you did get interested in history, since uh, you know you and I both know in those days uh, history was not a big thing. Uh, well, I was a pre-med student in the early 60s and uh, I was spending my summers here in Lethbridge working at the research station. You know, I have a long family connection with mm -hmm. the research station. My mm -hmm. grandfather was the superintendent there in the late 40s and early 50s. And I just got more and more interested in the people I was working with. There were a lot of post-war immigrants, uh, Polish displaced persons, well displaced persons from various parts of Eastern Europe and Mennonites. And I really didn't know much about the background of these people and I began asking them and then tried to read something about them and uh, actually the whole ethnic diversity of southern Alberta became something that really began to fascinate me and when I discovered that there was so little to read about it I decided that it was time that somebody did some research on it and so I talked the Lethbridge Herald into doing a series of articles in the late 60s on ethnic groups in southern Alberta at a time when I didn't know anything about history or sociology or history of southern Alberta and all of these things came together and really sparked my interest and got me interested in a career in history. It's interesting that you should mention that series of articles. That was when? In the, in the late 60s or early 60s? That, that was published? Well, it was published in about uh, 67, 68 uh, during the summers. I mm -hmm. essentially did it as a summer job and then it was brought together as a book, Land of the Second That's Chance, right. which was my the first book that I published. That's right and I uh, cut those uh, those articles out faithfully and um, we still have them over at uh, the center. Uh, they're getting awful torn and <laughs> chopped up now. <laughs> well people can, can, uh, can get kind of a more updated version of them in Land of the Second Chance which right. I think is still around but I think more um, per, perhaps more pertinently uh, a lot of the information on the history of immigration uh, has been woven into this new book uh, Alberta New History that has just been published by Hertig Publishers. So now we're into the real glossy stuff <laughs> from newspaper, newsprint to, to this. This is a new book that uh, you've come down here, and of course this is what we want to talk about. Um, and it weaves in a lot of the things that you first started thinking about then way back in the, in the 50s, was it, uh, when you were, when were you? Well, research? it would have been in the, uh, the mid-60s mid -60s. when I was working at, at the research station just as a, as a summer job, hoeing and spending my time chatting with uh, all my fellow workers. In fact, uh, I spent so much time chatting with my fellow workers that eventually they stuck me off in the corner of the field by myself because I, I don't think maggots. I was getting enough work done. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, all right, this is a book, and uh, when I first heard about this book, uh, and I've seen, you know, you did a book on ethnic groups. Was it last year, the green one? I published another book in the mid-80s uh, called um, Peoples of Alberta, which mm -hmm. is a group-by-group -group account of right. all of the ethnic groups in Alberta. I essentially took what I'd done in southern Alberta and expanded it to the whole province. And in this book, what I've done is I've taken my interest in ethnic history, and ethnic history is now woven into the larger fabric of uh, the history of the province, so that there is certainly material here on uh, immigration and ethnicity, but it really begins uh, with archaeology, you know, it begins with Alberta 12,000 years ago, and then covers all the various stages of the history of the province, from the fur trade through the Mounted Police and the uh, Indian treaties and uh, the settlement patterns, and then uh, the rise and fall of all of the various political parties that uh, have made up Alberta. Plus, uh, woven into this are all of the other themes in Alberta history of uh, history of women and sports mm -hmm. and popular culture and education. And this is really an attempt to synthesize all of the new research that's been coming out in the last few years on the history of the province. Hmm. Now, one of the, um, I remember, I think it was um, uh, Dr. Cousins uh, talking at the Mounted Police Convention back in 74. I don't know if you were at that or not. It was in Lethbridge. Uh, but he mentioned that, um, that most of the books that people read 
uh, are not done by professors, they're done by non-academics. And of course, um, one of the ones that I remember best was uh, McGregor, who I hear just passed away. And um, he did a history of Alberta. Now, he, his, his background, I think he was head of the power company or That's something. That's right. Uh, well, he was an amateur historian, a, a very um, uh, energetic and productive uh, amateur historian. He wrote 20 books, mostly on the history of northern Alberta. Actually, this, to be uh, honest, and we, I wouldn't uh, confess this in Edmonton, but this has very much a southern Alberta slant. In fact, they, I had to rewrite the book uh, for the, in about the last six months because the publisher became aware that this was uh, too much uh, history of southern Alberta.